There's a readout of the page called Sanfalasma after Sanfalasma removal. What happens after the Sanfalasma is gone? As this is well established now, properly formulated pills to uh, suit each specific skin type and Sanfalasma do not cause any scarring. Of course, this is because the ablation does not reach the deep parts of the dermis. However, after the Sanfalasma has been ablated, the new skin grows instead of the previous Sanfalasma initially, the new skin will have a different texture and will not be pigmented as the rest um, of the surrounded skin. Sometimes this different uh, skin texture and colour is mistaken for a scar. Now, basically here is uh, just um, um, an after picture, um, I think four days after the, uh, the sun plasma treatment with the sun remover and uh, still not healed this, um, this particular area but uh, if you actually watch this case study you'll see that the results are absolutely beautiful. Now, it is important that damage is not caused to the dermis uh, in order to um, not to get any scars and the other thing is after you get your sun plasma re um, removed by using any methods, uh, may, maybe cosmetic peels or whatever other methods, the area will normally be a bit hypopigmented but this hypopigmentation will actually um, subside with uh, normal sun exposure and over time. So that's, that's very important. Now, so why is that? Now, do you remember if you had a superficial wound, it healed without a major complication, i.e. infections? As it may have happened to you in the past, after a superficial wound healed and the scab fell off, the new skin looked very different from the rest of the skin. Additionally, you may have also noticed that the new skin, uh, which had formed at the time, might have also looked slightly raised compared with the surrounding skin. At a certain point, you had forgotten about the wound altogether, busy with your daily life commitments, and a few months later, you find that the area has blended in with the rest of the skin. So this is, if you had a, a wound in the past, which you normally everyone has, and there's no scar, what you'll find is that after the scab has fallen off, normally the area is a bit raised, and the skin tone is different to the rest of the skin. It is very normal. And if the healing went well and the wound wasn't too deep, then you have no scars. And if, even if the area was different, the area where the scab was was different immediately after the scar has fallen off, a few uh, months later, you'll actually uh, will not notice anything was there altogether because it really depends on the type of wound you had and the, the, the healing uh, progression. If the, the healing was good, there's no reason to have a scar if the dermis was left unaffected. So the same thing applies with sun plasma removal, basically. So you remove it, try to, to remove it in the best possible way, and then if no infection occurs, basically you're left with no scars after a few months after the treatment. They may that be with uh, lasers or any other methods. How does it work? The sun plasma you've uh, have been ablated. If if the sun plasma have been ablated properly, the different skin texture will fade away over time. The difference in skin texture can last between two to six months, depending on the individual. The good news is that it is very easy to accelerate the blending process, so that people will never notice that any treatment has ever been performed on the eyelids. In the the best solution is that uh, the use of mild peels followed by a lotion um, containing growth factors to accelerate the natural skin regeneration process. This is important to select the right peel for the skin type of the eyelid area. Of course, the type of peel to be used in order to accelerate the blending process is very different from the one used for the ablation of sunflasma removal. Moreover, the eyelid area is more sensitive than the rest of the, the face, hence the peel should be milder than other peels used for skin rejuvenation. It is well known that the function of beauty cosmetic peels is to mildly ablate the epidermis to uh, stimulate the fibroblasts. In this way, the natural regeneration kicks in. However, 
the, regrow the regrowth is to be accelerated uh, hydrate by an, a hydrating cream with growth factors should be used soon after the old skin has been peeled off. It is normally suggested to use hydrating cream because the immediate um, after effects of cosmetic peels uh, are often a dry skin. Also, sun protection should be worn during the skin regeneration period. This is because the skin exposed to the sun while regenerating uh, the ultraviolet rays are more likely to damage the DNA of your skin and therefore cause cell mutations. This is the main reason for uh, uh, main reason why if prolonged sun exposure following the use of cosmetic peels, uh, the likelihood of developing sunspots increases dramatically. Hence, defeating the whole point of using cosmetic peel, peels in the uh, first place. Therefore, after the treatment for sun plasma removal, in order to accelerate the fading process of the new skin growth uh, soon after a sun plasma ablation, the following protocol can be carried out. Apply appropriate peel on the whole face. It is important that the patient starts applying the custom peel starting from the eye, eye area and spread it over the rest of the face. After the old skin completely peeled off, apply a sunscreen twice a day once in the morning and once in, uh, after lunchtime. The application in the morning will protect the skin from occasional sun exposure throughout the, the morning. The application soon after lunchtime, roughly at 1 p.m., will protect the skin from occasional sun exposure throughout the afternoon up to the evening. Apply the hydrating cream containing growth factor. Growth factor who will stimulate and uh, catalyze the natural uh, regeneration process of the skin. This is uh, to booster. This booster can be applied once in the evening so that the cell regeneration will occur during uh, the night once sun exposure is not possible, therefore minimizing the risk of sun damage. Then there's uh, the FAQ about sun plasma. Now, the point is here that I'd like to make there's no strict need for this. If you want to do it, you can, but it's not necessary. So if you just wait, then the area uh, will return to normal. I'll have no problem. But if you want to try something else, you can try something of the sort. So this is all for this video. And once again, should you have any questions, get in touch with us. Sunflasmarimol.com.